Come true for the owners of Always Dreaming, the winner, the favorite of the 143rd Kentucky Derby on Saturday. And thanks for staying, staying with us here at 530. I'm Doug Profit. And I'm Renee Murphy. The excitement felt from the primary owners all the way down to those who have a small percentage of the winning thoroughbred. Well, the New York owners got all the media attention, but a local couple is also sharing in the experience. And WHAS 11's Michaela McDonald caught up with them the Monday after Derby. So what they had to say. Humbled and grateful. Those are some of the words the couple used to describe what they say was really a surreal experience this weekend. And if you're a longtime WHAS 11 viewer, you may recognize them. The winner's circle of the Kentucky Derby, the place where those in the horse racing world dream of being on the first Saturday in May. Always Dreaming's victory made that dream a reality for local couple Jeff Lifson and Stephanie Collins, who own a minority interest in the Derby winner. It's the most hallowed ground in racing in the world one, and you don't want to leave. One day, one day a year it's open and only a few people ever get to walk over there and stand there and be a part of it and it was just, I mean, you, you can't describe it. It was awesome. Lifson and Collins may look familiar to you. Both covered derbies and horse racing on WHAS 11 years ago. You never know who you're going to run into on Central Avenue. Folks out there need to watch each of these races rather carefully because how they play out may mean how you want to bet on the derby race. Lifson has since made a career in racing with West Point Thoroughbreds. The win equally as exciting for Louisville native Collins and Derby City transplant Lifson. I'm from Louisville, so I grew up with the derby, you know, watching it probably in black and white the first time. And I just, you know, for a moment, you, you really do pause and think about all the people that you've watched derbies with, family members who just aren't here anymore with you. And it's, it's, um, it's bittersweet but it was amazing. WHAS is what gave me the opportunity to learn about horse racing. Mm -hmm. And that's I was- That's where we met. That's where we, we met, married. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So as a transplant, maybe you don't quite have the same sort of fundamental steeping that my kids and that my wife have, but I fell in love with racing. Racing has put food on our table and a roof over our heads over the years since 1993. While Always Dreaming is heading out Tuesday, the Lifts and Collins family says it will relish these moments for much longer. It's crazy. You win something this huge and everyone says, oh, is it crab cakes now? And you're like, no, wait, I just want to savor this a little bit longer. But of course, there's racing. And the couple says they really plan to savor this feeling for as long as they can. Of course, they are hoping for a win in the Preakness in a few weeks. Michaela McDonald, WHAS 11 News. Thank you, Michaela and Stephanie. You didn't.